Well, if you look at lesson four right here, it should seem very similar to what we did in lesson three. The difference, because they're both dealing with equally likely outcomes, both dealing with chance experiments, but the difference is, is we're calculating probability. So now we're gonna take that sample set and those outcomes that we did in lesson three, and we're actually gonna figure out some probabilities from that. Okay, so don't overthink it. Um, we're just gonna kind of take the next step. So it said in a previous lesson, you saw that to find an estimate of the probability event for a chance experiment, you divide, whatever you want for the event, the number of times it happened over the total number of observations. Okay, so times it happened over the total number of observations. So let's say I had a bag full of colored cubes, yellow, green, blue, and red. And they're identical except for the color. So we're gonna conduct a chance experiment already done um, and get some data from there. Okay, so here's what happened. Reached into the bag, pulled out a yellow. Put it back in, shook them up, reached into the bag, pulled out a yellow. Put it back in, shook it up, reached the bag, pulled out a red. Okay? So it says, based on the 20 trials, so if you kind of scroll down here, or I scroll down here, you look at your notes, you can see that we did, did this 20 times. Okay? And estimate the probability of choosing a yellow. So let's go back to our probability notation, right? Probability of yellow is going to be the number of times we pulled out a yellow over the total. Well, our total is 20, so we count the number of times we pulled yellow. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we have five out of 20. If we reduce this, divide top and bottom by five, we get one fourth. Okay, now we can change that to a decimal. Um, one divided by four is just 0 0.25 or 25%, but we'll just leave it there. Now let's do the probability of choosing green. Okay. So we count the number of greens, the total doesn't change. And so for green, we had one, two, three, four, five. Six. So six out of 20, if you divide top and bottom by two, we would get three tenths or three tenths, okay? All right, probability of red. One, two, three, four. Oh, that's it, four. So that'd be four out of 20. And if we reduce it, the common factor of four, we get one fifth and one divided by five is 0.2, ten, two tenths. And finally, the probability of choosing blue. How many times according to our chance experiment out of 20 did we pull, pull a blue? Now again, we could figure this out, right? Cause we've already pulled out 15 of them. Blue has to be five. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so just like up here, that would reduce to one fourth or 0 0.25. Now, if you look at 0 0.25, 0 0.25 is 0 0.50. 0 0.3 plus 0.2 is 0.50. Add them all up, be at one. Or if you think of this as 25% plus 25%, it's 50%. 30% plus 20% is 50%. It's 100%. That's what we expect. We need all of the cubes accounted for. So if there are 40 cubes in the bag, how many cubes of each color are there? Well, um, because the probabilities are similar, okay, we'll say that, and I'm gonna type it. Maybe I'll do better typing. Because the probabilities are similar, we expect the number of cubes in each color to be the same. So if there's 40 of them in four colors, I would think there'd be 10 of each color. You can try to move that over a little bit. So if we were to randomly draw another 20 cubes, one at a time with replacement, meaning I pulled out a red, dropped it back in, shook it up, reached my hand back in. Would we see the see exactly 
the same result. That's the keyword there, exactly. So do you think we would pull out exactly five yellows? We might. Exactly green or six green? We might. But it would be hard to do the exact same. I got to think. We might be close, but we're off a little bit. Okay, so we'd say the answer to this is no. And the reason is um, this is a chance experiment. A chance experiment, okay? This is not coming out perfect every single time. We literally could pull 10 reds out, okay? Um, we're doing this by just randomly putting our hand in and dealing with what we come out with, okay? So we only change our thinking a little bit from what this is called as Eric's experimental probability because it's based on experiment, okay? Uh, this isn't theoretical. This is experimental. Probability, right? It's based on experiment. We're going to be running into something we'll talk about in the next video on theoretical probability, okay? And for that, we're going to need this information. It said, find the fraction of each color of the color cubes in the bag. Well, we're going to go with there's the same number, okay? Does it tell us how many? Okay. Um, let's say there's 40 total and there's the same number, same number for each color. So there would be, if we're gonna break up 40 into equal amounts, there would be 10 yellow, 10 out of 40. Okay, well 10 out of 40, if you divide top and bottom by 10, you get 1 fourth. How many green? Well, 10 out of the 40, which is 1 fourth. How many red? 10 out of 40, which is 1 fourth. And guess what, blue? 10 out of 40, which is 1 fourth, okay? So if we have 40 total and we break this up, okay, theoretically, we would think if we did this experiment 40 times, I would put 10 yellow, 10 green, 10 red, and 10 blue. That doesn't happen in experimental probability. But as we're gonna learn in the next video, Theoretical probability deals with this chance, with this outcome of having a one-fourth chance of grabbing that color.